Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new here, hi, I'm Candy from the Pork Chop Bun, your best friend in Macau. So today, I'm going to take you to this cafe. It's a pretty interesting like concept cafe. Basically, it's like they sell flowers. It's a flower shop, so you can buy flowers. And you can also have some coffee, have some dessert at the same time just to chill and relax. Pretty excited just to show you what it's like. It'll be my first time as well, so let's see how it goes. Something that I found that's really, really cool is that on tables, they have this ecosystem. Like they have actually really like real plants under tables and it's like see-through. So you get to see the plants. It's absolutely really, really cool. I've never seen this kind of table before. Go order some drinks and snacks right now and let's see what's on the menu first. Ta-da! My stuff is here. So excited to just try it out. Like I don't, I don't know to what it's called. I keep forgetting. Like I looked at the menu like ten times. And I'm still forgetting. It's like I think it's called a rose tea latte danish, the matcha ganache. I have the chocolate cheesecake. The ice cream. It is melting. It is really hot outside. I also got this matcha latte drink right here. As you can see, there's like layers. And there's like dark green tea matcha at the bottom and there's like it's just like that gradient it looks so pretty like that gradient of like milk at the top i usually order matcha latte from like starbucks or any other places actually because it's just like my basic drink if i drink coffee at night time i can't sleep okay and then for me i need to sleep and i wake up really really early so they have this really rich matcha powder to it you can just tell it's like super super rich taste to it and for me that i prefer more milk like less matcha and more milk taste to it i like that creaminess of the milk more but right now it's like the matcha powder really overtakes that milk kind of component to it like, da -da -da -da. they do have like several cheesecake selection there's like vanilla ice cream to it Oh, like, I don't know guys, like, I'm not a big fan of vanilla ice cream. I wish I could pick my ice cream or like fit the theme, like chocolate ice cream, since I ordered chocolate cheesecake. Wink, wink, wink. Yeah, and I see there's like a layer of chocolate coating on top of the cheesecake. And also like, um, they have this chocolate drizzle on top of the ice cream and the cheesecake. I can really taste the thickness of the chocolate. I think it's like, it's not bitter chocolate. I wouldn't say they use dark chocolate. I would say it's more like milk chocolate kind of taste to it. And I don't really taste the heaviness of the cream cheese. Oh, well, you know what they're missing? Like cookie crumble base to it at the end. I don't know, I prefer my cheesecake with like the cookie base. It, it does make a difference. Because you know with the cookie base at the bottom, it has that crunchiness to it. So it has more textures when you eat the cheesecake, right? But now it's just like one texture. So I'm gonna try the ganache. It is my, I don't really eat ganache. Like I think ganache is something that I don't really eat quite often. This is actually super rock hard. I couldn't even cut it open with my fork. I tried it, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of balloon cake for some reason. <laughs> like when you open it, there's like, oh, there's like some egg yolks, but this is like some like, matcha green tea paste. It smells like bread, like toasted bread, that kind of smell to it. it tastes kind of like a mooncake with the green tea paste in the middle. But the outside is actually really hard. I'm not sure if you can hear it. And I feel like the paste, it has this like bitterness to it. So next, I'm gonna try the lychee gentilini. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Actually, just one lychee and they cut it perfectly too. And this pretty pink uh, 
I'm not sure if it's cream or not, but it's this pretty pink cream thing. And I think there's like two cookies using almond flour. Mm. Lychee is really sweet. It's like frozen, syrupy, lychee kind of taste to it. From what I'm feeling, it's like those bread, like soft, crumbly, cookie bread kind of texture to it. I feel like that's like Oreo. Like, let me just open it like Oreo. Yeah! I mean, this is like kind of what Oreo does, but it's like twist. I shouldn't be playing my food, I know. It's kind of like Oreo though. Like a sweet bread taste to it so it's not cream like it's not as smooth as cream i was thinking of something like fresh cream going on it's like this mousse kind of texture to it like a pink mousse with like lychee like cold lychee syrupy lychee in the middle with like sugar beans and like skin so I wouldn't think this is part of Macau. I feel like I'm in another like fairyland kind of world to be in. Such a nice place to take photos. Like there's a lot of greenery, flowers, and plants, and you can also enjoy some desserts. I think it's amazing if you like have a friend and you just want to chill and relax. I do recommend coming a little bit earlier. That way you can take so many photos, so it looks really, really nice. They have like really like big windows, so like the sun coming in and it just shines on your face. It looks so good. It looks like those like IG photos, you know. Such a cool concept, and I hope that Macau has more of these concept stores. So let me know how it goes, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.